Hello there, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to another episode of How to Play Old World. And this particular episode is actually a response to a viewer question. Now, I have to admit that I don't know all the answers here because there are some parts about this that are very confusing. But I do understand how some of it works and that's the bit I'm going to explain. I figured it would be easier to show this in a video rather than trying to type it out in text. Now, I will also talk about the bit that I don't understand or the bit that I can't find the answer to. And if anybody does know the answer to this, then please please do get in touch with me, leave um, your answers in the comments and I'll probably do a follow-up video noting that. So as the title of the video says, this is actually about uh, building times for things in cities. That's the question that I've been asked, which is basically how long does it take to build uh, these things in the city? We can see that we've got a settler will take four years, a worker will take four years, a scout will take two, a spearman will take six, etc. But this does vary from city to city. So my settler here taking four years at this city, if I was to go to a city which was much newer, uh, the settler takes eight years. What is it that makes the difference between um, those building times? Well, the first thing that you need to understand is the resource that is used for production of those particular units so if we look at the top four units here the settler worker scout and militia these are all civilian units and these use growth growth is the primary resource used for building these uh, then we've got our military units military units all use training then we've got specialists who use civics and then we've got the city projects that also use civics now at the top of the headings for all of these different sections we can see how much of that particular resource we produce in that specific city so i'm looking here at carthago which is my uh, capital city and we can see that i'm producing 28.8 growth per turn 14 training per turn and 26.2 civics per turn which obviously is the same down here on the projects as well so that is basically how you work out the uh, number of years that it will cost to train something or build something and if I for example uh, mass over the spearman here you can see the spearman requires eight uh, the production is 80 training now there is some rounding going on but with 14 training per turn it would take us six years now that's not actually quite right but it does vary from unit to unit there are some that don't make sense for example a slinger will take four years but 14 training per turn would only actually give us 56 uh, over four years so technically it should take five years so i believe there is a little bit of rounding going on that we don't necessarily get to see but that is essentially how long something takes so you take the production cost of a unit and divide it by the amount of that resource you are producing per turn now these things are increased by building certain building types and improving certain uh, resources so growth for example comes from uh, building things like granaries and building improvements on various food sources now it's worth remembering that farms don't provide growth farms just provide food which is also important but farmers provide growth so you can get you can get food from a, a farm but you'll need to put a farmer specialist in there if you want to provide any growth uh, there are other things that produce that as well like the shopkeeper here for example the shopkeeper produces quite a lot of growth and the rancher here provides growth as well so the more growth you get in a city uh, the quicker you will be able to produce these civilian units uh, training training usually comes from things like a barracks or a range and again the more training you have in a city the quicker you'll be able to produce military units so if you've got a city on the front lines that you want to produce lots of military units from spam barracks and ranges in it and again you've got specialist buildings and uh, improvements that will give you additional civics uh, for example we can get them from stone cutters stone cutters provide civics to us and there's a, there's a few others as well including the shopkeeper also provides civics so that's how this is done now the part that i am unable to well before actually before i just talk about that if i go to another city you'll see different city produces different yields so that will affect the length of time it will take to produce these units so if you have a brand new city that isn't producing as much growth it's going to take longer to produce a settler uh, one other thing worth noting 
is that whenever you are uh, building a unit uh, or running a project or creating a specialist, that particular resource that that city is producing will completely go into the production of that unit rather than into your yields. So I will basically lose 10 training a turn from my total if I start building a spearman. It's also worth noting that if you are producing any of the uh, civilian units that require growth, it will actually stop the city from growing uh, while that unit is being produced. Now, here's the thing that I can't work out. The actual cost of a unit. If we actually look here at the settler, it says the production cost for the settler is 90 um, growth. So we can see that just here, 90 growth. If I go to my next city and look at the settler, this one's also 90. This city, this one's 110. If I go to the next city, this one's 100. If I go to this city, this one's 80. If I go to this city, this one's 100. So all of my cities seem to have different costs for the settler. Now, if I press F1 on the settler to open the encyclopedia, you can see it says the production is 80. So the base cost for a settler is 80, um, 80 growth. Now, what I can't find the answer to is why some cities it's more expensive. I was trying to work out what it is that's causing some cities to have a higher cost uh, than the base for a unit. So, for example, if we look at Carthago, my settler here is 120 growth. That's a 50% increase in the cost. Now, at first I thought it might be down to the level of discontent, but discontent here doesn't actually show that it is increasing the cost of units. It does increase maintenance, it decreases my science output, it decreases my growth. But I couldn't find anything that says that it increases the cost of a unit. I've also checked several cities that have the same discontent level and the cost of a settler is different in both. Then I thought it might be something to do with the development level of the city. But again, the same thing applies. I've found several different cities that have the same level of development and they both have different costs for a settler. And again, nothing on the tooltip that says why that there'd be a difference in cost. Then I thought it could be down to governors because there are governors that do have the ability to decrease the build time of certain units but not usually increase the build time of certain units. But again, I haven't been able to find any correlation between governors in cities and an increased cost. And unfortunately, even mousing over this doesn't give me any kind of indication that there is an increase on the cost of that. So if anybody does know the reason why in some cities uh, certain units are more expensive than their base production, please do let me know. I'd love to know what causes something to be more expensive in one city than in another. But hopefully I've answered the main question of how, uh, why it takes a certain length of time to produce units and specialists and projects within a city. It's all based on the amount of that particular resource that that specific city produces. So, Look at the unit that you want to train or the specialist or the project that you want to look at. Look at its cost in production and you divide that production cost by the amount of the uh, particular yield that you're producing. And again, there is some rounding going on. So if you're trying to produce settlers, for example, you're probably better off doing them in an older city because the older city is going to have more growth or you just need to build lots of improvements and specialists that will increase the growth in that city. And there we are. Hopefully that has explained um, building times for cities. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.